Got it all on camera. Got it all on camera. All this instead of just paying $63, right? All this instead of just paying $63, right? I'm honestly. All of this instead of just paying $63. Okay, when the video first started, I thought there was somebody in the tow truck and they were trying to just pull off. And I was like, they don't know what they're doing. Like, it's going to be a lawsuit. And then I realized the guy recording was the tow truck driver. What a twist! Saying that this girl had to pay $63 and she didn't want to. She got in the car and tried to drive the car off while it was on the track. And then it. Oh. There are like four signs. You should say there are four signs. She signs should on my not leash say alone. No. She should Excuse say, sorry, the these dogs are in. No. The dogs are in training. Sorry. That could have been nicer. She could have approached you. You asked nicer. the question. She and I pet the dog, and she said no. You, she the should have said that they the were in training. You can walk away now. I don't owe you anything. My, I didn't ask you. I did not ask you. You, you came over. You are recording without my consent. Absolutely. You are absolutely. It's legal. It is not legal. It it's is. It's legal. Okay. Okay. Call the cops. I call the cops. Call my lawyer right now. Because it's her. It's a. It's illegal to harass service dogs. It's a misdemeanor to harass and interact with service dogs. This is just such an unfortunate situation. Before I was very against the Karen and I was just like, she's an idiot, she's wrong, she's this, she's that. But now I, I kind of see it from another perspective. I get it, a service dog is not a pet, but you also have to understand you're dealing with a child. So when you, you know, the kid's like, hey, can I pet the dog? You say no, the child's not gonna be like, okay. They might still try to pet it. It's just like, it, it seems like the kid's gonna think they did something wrong. That's how kids work. I think that's why the mom got so fired up. I don't know for sure though, maybe she's just nuts. Hi. Hi, huh? So, okay. Who is the name of They're the... already in my car. No, but who is the name? They're already in my car. Uh, I'm sorry, but you had a name assigned to pick up? Yeah, and that's who got into my car. No. They, I asked them what we their name the was. We checked the license plate. Uh, yeah, so the license plate in me was Driver Jalen. Rod Mark. Dodge Journey. This is not a Dodge Journey. Uh, you. you too. I don't have much to say. I think people just gotta handle their liquor better. Be a decent human being. Why do people think like, oh, I was drunk so I could do whatever I want. It's like, no. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host for this one, Jared Bronstein. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get right into it. It's rubbish. I really sincerely hope that we don't actually talk again. Look, look at you, trying to rip my flag off. What is going on here? Bum. It's too strong for you, Karen. Look at her. It's a You're a racist pig. You I'm are a racist, racist pig. Not racist, she's not man. racist. She's just you doing told the us that was half the problem, Karen. Allow. You're not allowed to fly a flag. You on the told us that was building. half the problem when we said that we're Aboriginal. Which Good night, Karen. Flag down. Good night, Karen. Good night. Good night, Karen. I just don't understand like why people get so mad about stuff like this. It makes absolutely no sense to me. She's not racist. She's just doing you told us that was half the problem, Karen. Allow. You're not allowed to fly a flag. I don't want to see a flag outside of my house. You're inside the house. You're not even gonna see the goddamn flag. Who cares? It's the same thing with these signs. You have nothing better to do in your day than to tear down those signs. Let it's freedom of speech. Let them just say whatever they want. Who cares? This lady's in my way at my house. Thing. I don't live here. This woman is saying I don't live here. <laughs> this is my house. You crazy lady. Another white lady pulling some old bull crap. Why do you think he lives here? Good. She already called the police. Another one of those ladies on TV, on the internet. Now come back. Why are you running? I don't understand what happened here. You're telling me this woman just saw this guy walking into a house and was like, he doesn't live there, I'm gonna call the cops? He's just standing there. Like, what's this woman doing in the neighborhood that she has the time to do this? You could do anything you want all day. You could watch Netflix. I like to play World of Warcraft. You could play Xbox. You could go outside, go for a walk. And people take time out of the day to do things like this. I don't understand it. People from all over come and take pictures of the blooms. And you f***ed it up. And you are an ass for not stopping. I told you to stop. 
I was yelling at you. Why? My kids heard what you were saying. They heard you call me names. What kind of names? Well, you know what you said. I got it all on video. I'm going to call the police right now if you don't leave. Okay, go ahead. But Okay, I will. No, but listen. <laughs> Again, I don't know what she was mad about. They... People from all over come and take pictures of the blooms. And you it up. But I love that he said when I called the police, he said, go ahead and just shut the door. Because you don't see that very often. People stand and they keep talking for some reason. Done deal, no problem. That's how you gotta handle it. You know what? Do not. I'm care. calling the cops. You know what? You leave these women alone. Get out. You can go. You can go. Uh-uh. No, I do not. You I have respect. And it does not matter. matter. You, you don't harass people like this. All right. You know what? You can lose this. No, I has motivated harassment. I didn't even know that was a thing, but okay, good. But I think at the end of the day, we have to realize like, we are literally all the same. I know that's such a cliche, but like they say, you go further together. When we realize that as human beings, collectively, we all live on earth, we all breathe oxygen, we all need water, like we all do things that need to survive. So when we stop nitpicking and we stop dividing and we realize like, wait a minute, let's all just come together and make earth habitable again. <laughs> and maybe we'll actually, uh, you know, live more than a couple hundred more years here. I give is I won't call the cops and your give is like maybe you could put it on silent mode when you come up the road. There's no silent mode. It's a dirt bike lady with with legal lights and everything. So it's street legal. It has a title. It's registered in, in Vermont. Right now. It's, it's because it's off. Because you're in the way. Okay. Blocking traffic, which is also illegal. That would work for me. So when you come to the road, <sighs> just turn it off and walk it up. I'm not pushing up a hill, lady. Uh, because not everything revolves around you. Like that's just entitlement. I understand it's a nuisance, the, the bike, it's a nuisance, it's annoying. Look, my neighbors were building a house for like the past year. Like when the pandemic first started, I would wake up every morning at 7 a.m. hearing trucks, the beep, 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 my dog going crazy, it sucked. But did I knock on their door being like, hey listen, your house is big enough. No, I just dealt with it, because this is just life. Sometimes you gotta just bite your tongue and deal with it. Are you a police officer? I'm not. No. Okay, all right. What are you? Federal Marshal. Okay. All right. That's what we had to No. Okay. So okay. no, you're carrying a weapon with no ID on you. No. Because I just stepped out of my house to get okay. this character. You have a number we can call for your supervisor? No. Okay. I got to so take we, this for you just for right, our safety. Handcuff me. For what? Until we figure out what's going on. You have a weapon. You have no ID on you. It's not a real weapon. You're carrying a fake weapon. Yeah. And you're a federal marshal. No. He's got a little battery. Are you not? No. Congratulations, you've been impersonating a police officer. That's a federal offense. What just happened? Congratulations, you've been impersonating a police officer. That's a federal offense. What happened? I feel like it's Florida. Where is Boynton Beach? Boynton Beach. Is it Florida? Let's find out right now. I got a strong feeling. Look at that. City of Boynton Beach, Florida. How did I know that? Maybe I'm biased, I'm a dog owner. I don't know, but I think this is this is extreme. The fact that you're watching your cameras to see who's walking their dog to take a shit on your lawn, I get it's annoying, but squirrels and raccoons also just shit wherever they want. Seagulls shit on my car all the time. It's just shit. It's not litter. Like, I don't know. I personally think that's a little much, but to each their own, I guess. Get out, Karen. Go, Karen. See you, Karen. Bye, Karen. She was probably fuming that night. I cannot imagine what the car ride home was like. He was probably like, you always do this. And the Karen was like, you know what? I don't always do this. It's because you forgot the breadsticks. I don't know, I feel like that was like Olive Garden and everyone loves a breadstick there. Is it breadstick? I don't know. All right guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Just make sure you guys smash that like button and we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> uh, what am I even doing? Karen doing put in their place. Part five. He thought the first 40 times were bad. Wait till you see 13 more. Welcome back guys. Another day where videos just aren't loading. <laughs> Got the air pump. Am I, is my microphone going on? Yeah, okay. It's just gonna be one of those days, I think. You guys can tell I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> 
laying down some truths. Sometimes you gotta just bite your tongue and deal with it. It sucked, but I dealt with it. And now I get to see their beautiful house. No, I don't, I got a wall here, but you guys get the point. Do their police uniforms even say Florida? Does it say Florida anywhere on here that I would know that this is Florida without just looking it up? I don't think so. Florida for you.